Good morning, this is Kim and welcome to Scholarly Pursuits. So this morning I'm recording from my car. I'm on my way into the park. I'm at the Columbus Park of Roses here in Columbus, Ohio. And so in future segments, you'll see scenery from the park. And the summer is truly beautiful. There's all these different variety of colorful roses. But today I thought I would try recording a video in my car. The topic we're gonna to discuss is when to ask questions during an interview, or should you ask a question during an interview? And I would say absolutely yes. There are a couple times during the interview that you can ask a question. One is during the interview itself, if you need clarification. Now you can't ask them basically to give you the answer to the question. It'd be appropriate to ask what we used to call when I was doing interviews regularly, probing questions. Um, if you, or ask for the question to be repeated if you don't understand the question. Sometimes interviewers ask multiple questions and you're already nervous and things like that. So they'll ask like multiple questions within one question. So it'll be something like, tell me about a time when you performed a certain function, how you performed the function, when you performed the function, and what the outcome of, of your actions were. That's a multi-part question that if you don't have a pen and paper to kind of jot notes or to kind of jog your memory, you might get lost in your answer or you may not even answer all of the question. So in that situation, there will be, that will be a good time to ask for the question to be repeated, especially if you're not sure if you answered all of the questions that were asked, right? The other time is if you need clarification on what is being asked, if something's unclear. Now, typically in an interview, the interview viewer should ask the same questions to every person that they interview. But sometimes because you need clarification or sometimes because something's not clear, the person being interviewed could ask for clarification. And if the interviewer feels comfortable providing that clarification, they will, or they may simply restate the question and that's not bad either. And you'll just answer the question to the best of your ability based on what you know about the job, based on what you know about the organization, based on what you know about the mission and vision of the organization, base your answer to the best of your ability on what is being asked and feel free to ask them to repeat the question a second time. Now, I wouldn't ask them to repeat it four or five times because then that might raise questions in the interviewer's mind, but asking surely once to repeat a question or a couple times throughout the interview is perfectly fine. The second time you're gonna want to ask questions for sure is at the end of the interview because the interviewer typically at the conclusion of the interview is going to ask you do you have any questions you want to have questions prepared you want to think about these questions in advance you want to have done your research on the organization on the mission and vision of vision of the organization on the job being done what you've learned right that shows an interest in the job it shows that you have done your research it shows that you're a thoughtful person and it'll provide you with additional information that you may not have gained during the interview. So I would say yes, during those two times, feel free to ask questions and definitely at the end of the interview. So you might say, Kim, what kind of questions do I ask at the interview? Well, you wanna ask questions such as something like, what is a typical day like for someone who's doing this job? Or what do you see as far as growth and development in this job? Or, uh, how will this person be evaluated as far as success or failure in, in this job? So those are more in-depth, more job-centric, specific questions that may not have been answered already or asked during the interview. Those are perfectly appropriate questions or questions along that line. Now, you wouldn't want to say, you know, how necessarily how many days of vacation do I get and, and you know, can I bring my family in on regular visits or you know, questions that really have nothing to do with the job, that really are kind of superficial, that really maybe not speak to your seriousness about the job. There's other times that you will be able to get more specific information about the job. If you have questions about the benefits or if you have questions about the culture of the organization or if you have questions about maybe the last person that left the job, there are other time, ways to get that information, other times to get that information. I would say those questions at the end of the interview, keep those more specific to the job, to the organization, demonstrating interest in this particular company and giving them another shot at to look at why they should hire you for this job. Because remember, that's why we're here. We're here to get a job. We're here to say why they should hire us before the next person. And that if you 
follow those two guidelines when you're in the interview, you'll do just fine in your next interview. So this is Kim with Scholarly Pursuits. I thank you for spending time with me today. I'm going to head on into this park and take some video footage and, and record a couple more videos that I'm going to be doing. And I look forward to talking to you in the coming days. Thank you.